What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sponge Plugin Programming. We have a very quick episode today which will involve making leveling up in a skill more exciting. So to do this we are going to be spawning particles and playing a nice sound when a player reaches a new level. And to get this done we want to have our skill manager class open and we just want to go and navigate on down to our check for level up function right here. Now, when a player levels up, we want to spawn a particle above them, and to achieve this, we need to first create or build the particle effect to spawn. So right within this if statement, probably right below the dot send message, we just want to create that particle effect by doing particle effect, and we'll call it effect, nothing too fancy, and let's go and import that. And we want to set this equal to particle effect dot builder and with this we want to do dot type and the type of the particle we want will be particle types dot ender underscore teleport you can change this to whatever you want I'm gonna go with the ender teleport just because I like it and with that all we have to do after that is just do dot build in order to build that particle effect and store it within this effect variable that we have here now that we have that done, we just need to go about spawning that particle above the player. And in order to do this, we do player dot spawn particle. Sorry, spawn particles. And the first argument will be the particle effect, which will just be that effect particle effect we created right up here. And then we want the player's position, which will be player dot get location dot get position. And this will go ahead and get the position at the player's feet. And we don't want this particle spawning at the player's feet because it just, it won't look right. So we're just going to modify this a little bit by adding two to the Y value. And to do this, we just do dot add zero, because we don't want to change the X value, two, because we want to change that Y value by two, and then zero, because we don't care to change that Z value. And that's all we need for that. That will go ahead, spawn the particle effect we created right up here above the player whenever they level up. Lastly, we want to play a sound to indicate that the player has leveled up, and to accomplish this, we use player.playSound, and the first argument will be the sound type, which will be sound types dot entity underscore player underscore level up. And then we want the location of the sound, which will just be player dot get location dot get position and lastly the volume and we're just going to set this to a value of one with all of that done let's build it and head into game to test it all out so build artifacts build and once it's done building go ahead launch up your server and we can see what this does now once we get into game if we gain some experience five of these should get what we need and if we look at our skills here it's 220, so four more. When we get to this fourth block, this last block here, what will happen is if I go into third person view, we should see a particle effect above us as well as a sound being played. And as you can see, it did exactly those two things. It played the sound as well as displaying or spawning that particle above the player's head. With all of that working, that will conclude this episode. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.